Hey everybody, welcome back to Art of War at U4 Multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Quill, Mathis, and Arumba. Say hello. 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 Hey there. All right, there, let's let's do it. If there is one thing we've learned through this campaign is that, Ryan, you truly do make art out of the, your wars. <laughs> it's true. I you know, you know, in the Big Lebowski, there's that scene where like Julianne Moore's character is chained to the ceiling and she just gets like flung through the room swinging paintbrushes. That's how my wars work. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Like now, like thing. I know that there's gonna be people who are like, "Man, Northern Lion, you should just give Arumba what he wants so he gets out of the war." But it's like like negotiating with terrorists. No offense, Arumba, <laughs> because if I give you what you if I give you what you want easily, then when we start, when does it end? In the next series, maybe you like, "Oh, this guy's a pushover. He'll give me what I want." So I'll just poke the bear a little bit. You know, I, I've got to at least make you work for it every time, so that if we ever butt heads again, you'll be like, "Well." You know, I can do it, but it'll be annoying. I'll still win, probably, but... Well, who said I want? I mean, that's part, that's part of the problem. If people are saying that, that you should give me what I want... Oh, you don't I want anything. <laughs> I haven't given you any plans. I, I, I have no desire other than to just be at war with you. All right, well, we're in the same... <laughs> I, I mean, I don't desire to be at war with you, but uh, we're on the same page, I guess, to some extent. I saw an opportunity. I mean, you, your army is in, in India, and... You oh, probably on, still Mathis. have this. Why you gotta yeah, be like that? You? I didn't do anything. What? Whoa! What are you talking about, Mathis? What? <laughs> you pizza. What so did I? Stuff. I honest to God, what do you? What? I'm not at war or anything. Yeah, yeah, you're not at war, and all your troops are on my border. You have a tell. <laughs> <laughs> Last Here three episodes. Trying to liberate the Ming. Last three episodes. All right. You mind if I pause for a sec to negotiate this peace deal? Because I was already in the middle of it. I had the screen up. Look, you have, but now I have, I'm going to need two seconds to make sure I don't click something retarded. I got to make sure no uh, to this is going to be interesting just because I know you have like four or five vassals. So. Uh, you have like eight vassals. Yeah, whatever. It's going to be a ridiculous amount of vassals. So. Okay, so in the left corner, <laughs> we have Mathis with 108,000 troops, 140,000 manpower, force limit of 103. He's not over his force limit by much. Tech 17. Yeah. Oh, you got the Tech 17 as well. Mm -hmm. In the right corner, we've got Aithaya, Military Tech 15. No manpower. Yeah, no, no I've spent that all. You've Ooh. been watching. Have you been yeah. watching, Mathis? Yep. Oh. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Look at you, little Mathis. He's, uh, so he's got 98,000. Oh, it's questionable. I, I think Mathis is going to win. It'd be my pretty, it depends on the, the vassals. Oh, Ma Mathis vassals. could have crushed me last couple times with the battle, and then there was, you know, the occasional little... Strategic mistake. I will make strategic mistakes. There is no doubt in my mind. It's going to happen. Just pay attention to the simple terrain map mode. Make sure that if, if you're going to be the defender, make sure you're in hills or mountains or forest. Gotcha. Very, and very I figured good. that was going to happen when I declared war, because I originally had all my dudes positioned everywhere you are right now, Mathis. I had my guys just, like, sitting around, and my plan was, oh, I'll just annex some stuff and do whatever. But I was like, oh, Ming. <laughs> you have to do it. Your compassion... Yeah, I was feeling bad for Ming. So, Northern Line, have you enjoyed watching, like, our, my army just sort of slowly move across your entire country? I'm impressed. Over the, the last few videos? I'm impressed. The creeping, <laughs> creeping ooze of Songhai? They ha you're hiding on the island, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so simple. Yes, yes, I am. I'm no longer I, at war with the Ottomans, though. My biggest concern is I'm going to accidentally spread myself too thin. Oh my gosh, you know what? After all this, I still don't have you as... Oh no, I do have you as special interest. Talking about I didn't get information about that. Okay, here it is. Ethiopia will be forced to give 10% of their income. It will seed land. Give I, cores I gave them one province and like the all, all the cores for Hayaz they wanted. Uh-oh, I just got a 2-6 general. That's, That's good, the best though, general right? our country has ever seen. <laughs> a 2 6? Holy crap. We don't normally make them that good here. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been doing, like, in pretty much every campaign since, uh, since Art of War came out, I've been doing a lot of the Diplo annexation strategy. And I, I'm kind of feeling like going back to just straight up coring. It's just so much better. You, yeah. you, save, you save points, but. 
just mentally like, okay, the amount of work involved with mass managing vassals versus just conquer this, core it, done. Mm -hmm. It's so straightforward, especially if you have humanism. Oh, for the reduced nationalism, yeah. Yeah, humanism makes coring a, a breeze. Important battle. I gained a grand captain, whatever that means. Slavery ships. So, you do have pretty good stats. And I'm the aggressor in the mountains here. But yeah, I'm just hoping to beat the shit out of you with superior numbers. Oh, one thing I didn't check was who has more money. Moguls have a thousand ducats, Ayathai has 700. How smart are your vassals, Quill? Well, they're vassals. <laughs> hey, the line. didn't you have like 30,000 men a second ago? What happened? Disbanded for war exhaustion. Hmm. I'm a little concerned. Because your war score is ticking up faster than I would like. Well, it's actually to your benefit because they're going to, I'm going to get the call for peace soon. It'd be nice if I could, like, just give this to somebody else and be like, I don't actually want the war goal. You know? Lose control of it intentionally. Look at that. Stability of three. That'll be handy. Where is... Mm-hmm. Mm hmm I agree. Me too. Ah, I see. Yeah, but you, uh... You did choose the one place that I actually have a leader. You're gonna take some losses there. Yeah. But I used boats. <laughs> that doesn't happen all that often. I'm kind of proud of myself. Where are you going to go with those? Just the mountains. <laughs> with my best hide. leader. <laughs> they go hide in the mountains now. Yeah. It's good. And you still somehow have 1,400 ducats. <laughs> yeah. I'm gaining money. Yep. In trade, I assume, or what? I don't know. Maybe. Doesn't matter. I should build should be able to figure it out. Let's see, Ethiopia, 52. You're making most of your money from... Gold, 16 ducats. Well, that can be fixed. What? Well, I'm just saying, you know mm. what? It's more, I'm just running out the clock. Gonna be fun. <clears throat> you do have that higher technology, man. It's true. Yeah, a great, great leader. Well, I'm sort of moving my units as if you were an AI, which is a little silly. <laughs> I just realized I was waiting for the 11th. I'm like, wait, hold on. I'm going there either way. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have just started moving people. Although maybe you would have spooked, so I don't know. I'm gonna take all your gold mines online. Oh, you got a river crossing right. and everything? Although you're rolling nines? What is this bullshit? <laughs> now I'm glad I fought that war against Bamanis so that I uh, actually had cogs built. That was a, kind of a happy accident. You have no cavalry, you have almost no cannons. Ooh, what is this? Attacking me in the mountains. This they can feel really okay about this one. Yep, looks like you're gonna win it. I didn't realize you had 64,000 men at that place. Oh, I guess there was some fog of war issues. I, I just, I, yeah. 
Austria, leader of the HRE again. Good for them. <laughs> uh, one of my groups got routed for some reason. What? I don't understand that. Oh, no, they just have no morale. I thought they were routed, but they're locked because they have no morale left. But I should still hopefully be able to outlast you via manpower. Well, we'll I think everyone's everyone's gotten pretty quiet now. Mm. <laughs> this is serious <laughs> business. Two on two, or well, one on one and one on one. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Ayutthaya has seven hundred ducats. The Muggles su suddenly have no money at all. Yeah, I spent I've, it on a on a big event. One hundred ninety. Damn, call for peace just ticked in. Thank you, peaceful song high and people. I know that you are being misled by a, a warmongering leader, and you are a kind and just people. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> they're ruthless. <laughs> My people have been bred to be ruthless. Jeez. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's all right. Ethiopia is no. We were a nation that perseveres. We got rebels. What? What is this nonsense? Development of, of veneering. Are you excited? It's. I am. Get hype. Veneering kind of has been developed. So you're going to successfully siege out the war goal. Congrats. Yay. How's the attrition in that province treating you? Pretty rough. <laughs> it's good. You do have a lot of manpower. I'll give you that. Sales, sales, mountains, okay. I got a holy war CB against Spain. Where did they just settle? Oh, now they're touching me. I see. Southern tip of India. They're touching you. Yeah. How dare they? It's not going to be good, maybe. What an interesting war. Always good to have. The Emperor nope. has enacted imperial reform. Get ready. I think that's going to have a big impact on us over here. <laughs> yep. Whoa, Kate's angry. Holy shit. <laughs> she's been having her? She's, she's playing some Danganronpa. I don't know what that is, but... It's a, it's right. a visual novel of some kind. A visual novel. Yeah. Hmm. You know, like, uh, like, had a full boyfriend. Like, uh, like, uh... Oh. You know. Like, choose your own adventure, but computerized. Yes. Precisely. Alrighty. Ready to go again, Mathis? Yeah, let's see. I don't see too many men around. Who's winning that war? Uh, technically, Quill is right now. And that means that you think you're winning? No, I, I'm. I am still not entirely confident in my tactical decision making to win. But <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Oh, that is a long trip from over here. It's a long, long, long walk. It's a good thing you got the minus three, but it's taking me so long to get actual men in here. The, the key for me is, even if I'm losing these fights, you can't reinforce your men after you lose them. That's true. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, it That's looks like I'm true. pulling this one out of my ass so far. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just straight up disgusting. Ooh, nice rolls on that one. You my assholes actually show up. Defender of the Faith again. <laughs> Jeez. Three times in like one character's life. Yep. It's a long fucking fight. It really is. <laughs> oh, you actually have some cannons on this one. Keep rolling high, Mathis. Keep rolling high. Yeah, you are getting some sick rolls. That finally worked out a little bit for me yep. here. And I got some additional reinforcements, which yeah. might help. I actually had some vassals show up for a change. Good roll, good roll. I'm going to size you guys up again. This has been like Let's a three-month war. I have, I have 53,000 I mean, muggles, 45. Ugh. So, Mathis, what you need to do, what you need to consider is don't press on too hard, like... Okay, if you select any one of your armies, right, that's in his territory? I have one army in his territory and it's fighting his one army. Yeah. Okay, but if you select it and you uh -huh. hover over, have the army selected, and then toward the top where it shows, like, infantry, cavalry, yeah. artillery, you see the little skull and the attrition number? Yep. In that tooltip, it will tell you the reinforcement rate. Oh, I'm going to lose this one. It says the, the local reinforcement rate is whatever. All right. right. Yep. And and the thing is, if you keep pressing in when your armies are weak, the reinforcement rate in hostile territory is like thirty to sixty percent. Oh, okay. I and it's a hundred percent in your own territory. Oh, so, so, so you got to go there. You got to back some of your armies off so they can recover about ten percent of their troop count per month. You've got the manpower advantage, but you need to recover. All right, I'll be backing out after this fight. I don't know who's gonna win this. It's so close. <sighs> yeah. I, I just Woo! got my next military tech level. It's like, well, that's a little <laughs> too little, too late there. All right, let's back up. I should press and chase you down, though. Shouldn't Depends. I? Depends. How far is he shattering? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, I'll does tell he you. Have, does he have defensive ideas? I don't know. He does not. I, would ch I wouldn't chase him if it were me. I would take up defensive territory. You've got the manpower. Retreat. Back out into home for a little bit. Yeah. Hire some mercenaries. You have money, right? Yeah, 588 gold. Train some mercenary infantry in the occupied territory that you have on the front line. I didn't know I could do it in occupied territory. That's new to me. Yep. You can only hire mercenaries um, in occupied. You can't train your own troops, but you can hire mercenaries. Occupied territory. Yeah, and obviously you can't do it overseas because you can't mercenary overseas. Right. Interesting. So on the front line, you can get cheap infantry that will just absorb hits for you. Hey, Northern Line took the took the fight. I uh, mis misunderstanding of mechanics. I had a higher maneuver stat than you, so I was like, "Oh, those those mountains don't mean anything." And then as soon as I got in there, it was like minus two terrain. Oh, yeah. all right. It's rivers and straits that you can avoid with. That's maneuver. it. Yeah. I had a feeling you might attack me. That's why I parked that twenty stack right next to your thirty stack. I'm just waiting. Oh, I mean, you 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 baited me hard, but. I thought I understood the mechanics better than that, I guess. Well, that's one way to learn a lesson. I think you'll be able to get me to 100 before... Uh, yeah, before the end of two you. videos from now. Yeah, I got 80% already. Call yeah. for Peace is pretty high. I'm I'm getting 4.14 work exhaustion per month. That's not but that like much. You, <laughs> but like, but like you said, I I just switched to diplomatic focus. Might <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> buy it down. I'm not gonna go to peace out. That's silly. No, this war is gonna continue. It must. For time immemorial. I think I've just raised war taxes for like the eighth time. This war's been going on since 1614. It's, <laughs> it's not that years. long, actually, in the EU4 context. Mm -mm. It's like the longest silence we've ever had. Mm -hmm. I know. People are focusing. What do you guys? What are you? What are you doing? Who's winning? I'm winning technically now. 
He's got the war score now because he's got his war goal. That, if my people, it, it just took forever to work, walk from Yarkin to Ladakh. If I'd gotten there, like, without having to take, I don't know, it's got to be like six weeks travel time or something ridiculous. Or maybe maybe a lot more than that. Then I would have easily won. But it just took forever. Because I baited. I'd be like, oh, he's going to attack me. He's not being able to see the extra dudes there. It'll be great. I'll have at least even numbers in the mountains. But it took so long for my troops to get there. And I rolled a lot of zeros. And my my stupid vassals are stupid. That is true. Just suiciding. I've got like I've got them set to supportive. And I've got like armies set to yeah, attach to this army. Nope, nothing. Nothing that's, at all. Uh, that's gonna be vassals for you. Mm-hmm. Vassals oh. gonna vassal. Oh hey look, it's some Aussie Aussie nationalists. I don't think they're Aussie. <laughs> Aussie. Is that even a country? Like, do they have a clear? Who the hell are they? What do they want? I uh, probably. They probably got something going on. Yeah. Did you guys hear the timer? No. It did go off. I paused right. it. Good. All right. Cool. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. See you soon.